Hey guys, oh my god, I am literally like, wow, this is so surreal. Wow, the lighting looks so good because I literally have my lamp shining onto me because <laughs> my computer lighting is so bad. Obviously, I'm filming this with my phone. Wait, let me see what happens if I turn it off. Yeah, that is quite a difference. And then there was lights and I'm wearing my real cute dress. Yeah. Hey, so, oh, so I think it was, yeah, May of uh, this year, 2021, I entered the Paige Turner Awards, and the Paige Turner Awards is an international writing competition, it is based in the UK, and I think, yeah, it was uh, Joey, the lovely Joey Paul, who announced on her channel that there were submissions open for the Paige Turner Awards, I'm pretty sure that's where I, because I kind of clicked in my head, um, because I watch Joey's videos all the time, and Joey, if you're watching, I see you, I, so yeah, I think I clicked on the link, and I just, I just went for it, I think I literally entered like a week or two before the deadline, I entered my YA novel Anne, I'll bring it, yes, I entered Anne, and oh my god, this is such an honour, like, I feel like such a, because you know, I genuinely did not expect this at all, like, I entered, because the thing is, right, I've entered writing, so my dad was always, like, urging me to enter writing competitions, and I remember I'd send him stories, and he'd, like, read them, and edit them, and give me feedback, like, my dad, my whole family's really supportive, of course, but my dad, he's also a writer, and so back when I was in sixth form, like, actually with my story, with Every Last Thought, which is the first, um, novella in Every Last Psycho, like, I wrote that story when I was 17, and I remember I, I, I submitted it for the, um, the Bridport competition, and I also entered some contests called the Mislexia contest, anyway, this was, like, a, you know, a few years, a few years back, and I obviously didn't win, so I kind of thought, oh, you know, if I enter this, it's gonna kind of be the same thing, and when I found out, I got an email saying, congratulations, you've been longlisted, I was like, oh, and then I saw it been shortlisted, and then we, so literally, like, tonight, so, like, now, I mean, it's not gonna be tonight, but whatever, but at the time of me filming this video, um, <laughs> so they did the, uh, the Zoom broadcast, and there's gonna be a link to the recording, so I'm gonna put that in the description when it's live, and it was, like, they were, I, mean, I was even picturing in my head, like, imagine if they say, oh, yes, yeah, Zarina Ratchet, because I really, honestly, when I was looking through and I was thinking, look at all these writers, some of them have been writing for, like, you know, decades, like, there is no way, I mean, as much as, you know, I love this little book, and then, so when she was, she was announcing, so there were, like, several categories, there was, like, the Screenwriter Award, and, um, and also, like, oh my god, it was just so amazing seeing all of the other people win as well, like, it was so genuinely a wholesome and heartwarming thing, like, I'm the kind of person whereby, like, even if I hadn't won, I, I feel this genuine, like, excitement, because it's like, you know, we all know, well, I know what it's like to labour on literary work, and if you're a writer in the, my, my fellow writers in the comments, you know, so seeing all these amazing people win, some of them were crying, like, I was so, I had this huge smile on my face the whole time, and then when she was announcing the book award, she was like, a young adult novel about domestic violence, and I was like, no, in my head I was like, what? And then she was like, Zarina Matcha, congratulations, I was just so, like, I, I did not even know how to react, I was literally in shock, <laughs> I'm still in shock, I don't think, I feel like it would be like this for like the next day or so, I mean, I remember like I literally, like the first person I wanted to call was my brother, he didn't answer, but I remember like um a few, like a while ago, yeah, when I got announced for the long list, and I remember my brother was like, oh, you might win, and I was like, nah, <laughs> and you know, like uh, my mum, I, I tried, to, I'm gonna literally call my mum after I film this video, but I had to kind of get it out first, and I sent my dad a voice note, I also messaged my uncle and a few other people and obviously announced it on YouTube because, you know, and this is the place, like, this is what I want to share with you guys. And so what I've won is a, um, 
publishing package and all expense public and all expense publishing package to my next book which I'm going to use for my next book which is called Tic-Tac-Toe and that is amazing timing because I was going to use all of November to really work on Tic-Tac-Toe and Tic-Tac-Toe is a YA um, dystopian satirical novel so it could not be better timing like I'm going to because obviously like I was expecting you know I'll pay for the, the cover and the editing and stuff but it's all basically going to be taken care of so that's the prize that somebody is I'm gonna get money so that I can have my book edited and because you know self-publishing is expensive and I've obviously I've, I've self-published so three YA novels um including my other two sorry I'm just really like ugh. okay this is my current um lifetime's work so lifetime lol this is what I've published so far in my in the last uh three years yeah, the last three and a bit years. So, um, yeah, for those of you who who are who have been following my channel, you already know. For those of you who might be new, so obviously, yeah, these three um young adult fiction books. Oh yeah, so this is every loss, psycho, every loss source, the first of another I mentioned. Yeah, they all spent me like they all spent me. I I spent a lot of money getting all of these edited, like really, you know, really thorough, like thorough copy editing um my poetry I actually didn't get my poems edited because I wanted to keep them kind of raw and stripped down but I obviously paid for the covers um luckily because I have an amazing designer on Fiverr who doesn't charge much my covers weren't expensive and then obviously there's all my um Diana Vale romance stuff yeah if you're new to my channel I write romance as Ms Vale and you know I don't spend a whole ton on getting these I just literally pray pray pay for like simple proofreading because they're kind of you know churning out kind of i don't mean that in a bad way i just mean as in they're not kind of they're not dense stories they don't usually require the same level of editing it's usually just simple proofreading so and you know it's anyway so the point of this ramble is that i'm gonna like not have to fork out a ton of money myself getting tic tac toe copy edited so when the time comes so that that is a really great and i mean i i don't even i'm just like seriously man so anyway anyway i don't want to like rub it blah 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 blah, blah. Like, i felt like i made such a fool of myself on the camera because i was literally like yeah i, I just don't know what to say i'm like because <laughs> you know I mean? like whoo anyway so um yeah that's pretty great and the, pe the uh, people who hosted it are amazing and it's just, it's just rock on and ride on yeah <laughs>